Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you the greatest way in which you can make the most amount of gold in Sea of Thieves. Now, this is updated as of the latest April update in 2021 after the commodity uh, quote-unquote nerf or patch, however you would call it. But uh, yeah, so today I'm just going to be showing you the greatest way in which you can make gold. So let's get straight into it. So what we're going to be doing today is running the Merchant Emissary so vote to raise that and then head on over to the merchant and purchase yourself a lost shipment voyage head on over to your ship and vote to start the voyage now real quick i'm not going to be telling you how to complete this voyage as i've already done a video on that so i'm going to leave that in the description and also put a card in the top right of your screen now if you need help completing that Next up, we're going to be heading back on over to the merchant and heading on over to browse resources and commodities. We're going to head on over to the next page where you can purchase all the commodities and you're basically going to purchase every single one available here. Now, once you have done this, you're going to take over every single commodity you have just purchased and put it on your ship. Just before we leave the outpost, we're going to be doing one more thing, which is heading back over to the merchant lady. And just to the left, there is this book in which you need to read. In this book, you will see the four different regions of the map and the respective outposts in these regions. It's going to tell you what commodities are sought after and what they have in surplus. What this basically means is the sought after commodities are what are going to sell for the most amount of gold and reputation. And the surplus commodities are going to sell for pretty much like 700 gold, which is absolutely useless. And they're going to be offering a lot more quantity of that. So you won't be able to purchase any of the sought after loot from them, but you'll be able to purchase three of the surplus commodities. Anyway, so I recommend noting all of these down into a notepad. As you can see, I have done that here. I've written down the surplus and the sought after amount under each outpost just so I have it on my second monitor and can just basically find out what I need to sell a lot quicker rather than get to the outpost, reading the book, finding the outpost I'm on. It just makes everything a lot quicker. You can also put this down on your phone if you don't have a second monitor or if you're on console. Anyway, so now we're gonna be setting sail and going and completing the lost shipment voyage. The reason we are doing this is because it's the quickest way to get merchant grade five emissary. So once you've completed this, you are going to be a grade five merchant emissary and you're basically gonna head on over to the nearest outpost. Once you get to the outpost, you're gonna be looking at the notes you have just written down and finding out what the sought after loot that you're going to be selling is. As you can see in this footage, I'm at Sanctuary Outpost and selling Broken Stone. This is because the footage was shot one week prior to this uh, video coming out and the trading routes change each week. But I'm gonna be selling Broken Stone and you're gonna be seeing how much gold I'm gonna be making from this. But I won't be touching any of the other commodities as I'm going to be saving them for the uh, corresponding outpost in which they are sought after in order to make the greatest amount of gold. Now pretty much from here all you're going to be doing is when you get to the outpost after you've sold the sought after commodity you're going to go into the resource and commodities section under the merchant again and purchase all of the commodities from every single outpost in which you visit and you are only selling the sought after commodities. This is because they are going to sell for a greater amount than they normally would at any other outpost and there's no point wasting your money buying all the commodities just to sell them at the next outpost is it's not worth it so only sell these sought after commodities but that wraps it up for this video literally that's all this is just going around in a circle around the map outpost to outpost only selling these sought after commodities and purchasing the newer commodities when you get to every single outpost so by the time you get to the sought after outpost uh, for one of the commodities you should have about four or five commodities to sell and that will give you about depending on which commodity it is maybe 35k minimum maybe 30k minimum and uh upwards of about 60k so um it's kind of crazy and bear in mind you're going to be going to at least two or three outposts i'd say three maybe even four outposts an hour so if you're making 30k at each outpost that's a minimum of 120k per hour i remember when i was doing this i was making 150 and this is after the patch uh before it it was like 400k an hour and it was crazy but now you're making about 150 so uh this is definitely a lot better than doing anything else because you could do a flame heart but you're going to have a lot of people trying to counter that flame heart you need a reapers people are seeing you on the map 
Uh, whereas on this, all you're doing is sailing around. You can literally throw on Netflix on your other monitor. If someone tries to attack you, sink them. Pretty pretty simple. Just chain shot them, put a couple of holes in them, board them, spawn camp them. That's then they're sunk. Um, so yeah. That wraps up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Leave a like, all that good stuff. Subscribe, join the Discord. We're going to be getting partnered soon, hopefully. We don't know. We're still waiting on a reply. But either way, it doesn't matter. We love Sea of Thieves. So stop by the stream. This is where most of the footage was taken from today. Uh, I stream most days, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and any day in between if I feel like it. Uh, and you will find out on my Discord if I'm not going live one of the days. So yeah, pretty much. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.